Welcome to Artistic Digitizer, five minutes at a time. I'm Ann Hine, Embroidery Software Specialist for Genomi America. And today I wanted to talk to you about the shapes tool and the gradient and some of the fill fills that you can use. So let's go ahead. I'm going to open a new page with create new and our uh, shapes are right here. We have the ellipse, a pie shape, both the, the larger size and the pie wedge, rectangle, uh, trapezoid, polygon, and star shape. Now, when you're using any of these, we're just going to open the ellipse. It's a left click and a drag to open your shapes. And then some of the shapes, if you open rectangle, you'll notice you have another tool up there, roundedness. So some of these tools have extra tools along with them to enhance that shape. So just remember that those are there. Um, I love the roundness because you can set uh, the for the corners of your shape. And there you have a nice rounded corner shape to make a name tag or maybe make um, the outer part of a zipper pouch or something like that. Now, when you're using the shapes, you also in properties can fill them with different types of patterns. And we're going to talk about the step fills and some of the patterns that are here. And first off, I'm going to go ahead and change the color of my shape just because it's easier to see those patterns when I choose them. So in um, under your uh, under step and patterns, you'll find a whole series of these. You just click on them and then they appear in your shape here. Now you also have a tool, Stitch Flow, I think we've used this tool before, that can change the look of that fill by changing the direction of the stitches. So sometimes if a fill doesn't come out the way you want it to, and you can't, maybe let's move this this way, um, or even turn it off. You see, you can't see that shape very well. With Stitch Flow, if I bring it out here, I can see that shape a lot better. The other thing I wanna talk about um, are the stipple. We do have a nice stipple fill, and you can put that in any shape that you like. You can change the density of that. So if you'd like it to be further apart or closer together, you could just put your mouse there and scroll them. What's nice about these when you have them uh, somewhat tight like this, maybe I'll put it, let me try this, make it a little bit, there we go. Um, you can take these and change the colors of them. So I'm gonna copy paste this one and move it this way. This one here, I'm gonna leave the red color. This one, I'm going to make um, a nice yellow color. I'm gonna change in my properties, this one to remove overlaps never. And where the overlap is, we get a bit of a shading going on in here. So you can make some nice rainbow shapes by uh, copy pasting the last one that you did, sliding it down, and maybe changing the color to orange on there so you can go through that way. So you can see how those line up. So you can get some neat, interesting shading things. Another way to create shading is to work with your gradient. And let me open a new page for that. And I'll create a circle again. And I'm gonna go over here to my colors and I'm gonna make it a red color. And then in properties, let's zoom in so we can see this up close. In properties down here is gradient. And with gradient, you can go anywhere from a minus 500 to a plus 500, and it will do this kind of thing to your uh, piece. So you can take that and copy paste it, change the color of the second one, maybe to yellow, and you can change the gradient on that one to maybe a minus 500 and get a blended look. And I'll slide that off of there so you can see that. So you can layer them right on top of each other. You can layer just the corners of them um, that way. So this gives you a little bit of fun to play with. Our gradient tool, which is found in properties under fill. And also you can do some shading and fun things with the stipple fill as well using any of your shapes. Going back here, when you need to look at the, the different layers, you can click on the auto and it'll show the different layers of your design. 
And that's five minutes at a time with Artistic Digitizer.